Hi, I am Olympia Lapointe, the author of Mathophobia, How You Can Overcome Your Math Fears and Become a Rocket Scientist. Now, I took calculus, and sometimes I had trouble with evaluating limits. So today what I'm going to do is show you an easy way, a trick, to evaluating limits. Now behind me is a problem. It's evaluate and find the limit of, the limit as x approaches 16 of 4 minus the square root of x divided by x minus 16. Now normally what we do for limits is that we substitute the x value of 16 into the limit to find out what the number is. But in this case, the denominator would be 0. So question is, what do we do? Now tell us. Now, when we have a square root, especially in the numerator, what we want to do is manipulate this by multiplying both the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the numerator. That is to do this. What we want to do is multiply by 4 plus the square root of x divided by 4 plus the square root of x. Now this is why. This is equal to the limit of x is equal to 16. Now, we multiply or FOIL the numerator, and when we do that, we come up with 4 squared minus the square root of x squared, which is the difference of squares. We divide by x minus 16 times the quantity 4 plus the square root of x. Now, don't, don't multiply the denominator because we want to leave it as factors because we want to remove the part x minus 16 that gives us the denominator of zero. We don't want the denominator of zero. So this is what we do next. We continue to write the limit in front, which is the limit as x approaches 16, of four, and actually I'm gonna correct this to be 16 minus x divided by x minus 16 times 4 plus the square root of x. Now this is a great thing. Here, we can eventually cancel out these quantities, but we have to do it by first recognizing that x minus 16 is the exact same as 16 minus x, but with a negative sign. And on the denominator, we still have x minus 16 times the quantity 4 plus the square root of x. This is why we didn't want to multiply the denominator. Because we can cancel out this x minus 16 quantity. That gives us the limit as x approaches 16 of negative 1 over 4 plus the square root of x. This is what we want. Now, we can evaluate the limit by substituting x equals 16 in for x here. Now, when we do that, that's the final time, I should say finally, we are able to remove the limit sign. So now this becomes negative 1 over 4 plus the square root of 16, and that simplifies to be negative 1 over 4 plus 4, and that is negative 1 eighth. So again, what we want to do is first try and see if we can substitute our value in. If we have a denominator that's 0, we want to manipulate the equation, or manipulate the expression, rather. In this case, we multiply both the numerator and denominator by the conjugate. We do not multiply the denominator, but instead we cancel out common quantities. We simplify, and then finally we're able to eliminate and remove the limit sign and substitute our x value of 16 into the limit to give us our result, which is negative 1a. I hope this helps you understand a little bit more about limits. And again, for more tips like this, go to my website, mathophobia.com. And check out my book, Mathophobia, How You Can Overcome Your Math Fears and Become a Rocket Scientist.